We had an event yesterday. I think they spent like 1,250 or something like that. Uh, not great, but it's what it is. Hey, these delivery men are nuts. How are you going to leave my package out here? First box of the new merch that's coming. Can't believe it. Delivery drivers just left this outside. Like, they don't even care. Merch season has begun. Me and Wes got some new stuff coming, man. Some good stuff coming. When we make good money from this, I'm going to try and uh, give out some merch to the, to the kids and the basketball teams I've been... I went to and there's a few more that I'm going to go to and give talks. So we're in Croydon here, there's bare Nigerian restaurants now. It's like on this road, there's three of them. There's this one here, further back that way, there's a niche. Over there, there's a next small one. Actually, no, it might even be four because that lounge, CL7, they do Nigerian food. Just come out of the laundry, left my clothes in there, uh, met some homeless guy outside. He asked if he can watch my car while I went and I said, yeah, why not? Come out. Gave him a change real quickly. Then asked him what shoe size, because he was like, oh, have you got any spare clothes? I said, oh, you know what, I ain't got none with me here, because my clothes are wet. But I asked him uh, what shoe size he is, and we're the same size. So I got a whole bunch of kicks that I ain't worn in like one year or two years that I not even like worn more than once or twice. So I might as well just grab a few pairs and give it to him. Clothes wise, he's like a medium, I'm like a large, so I might just give him like a jumper or something because my coats would be too too big for him. But he said he's gonna go to a hostel now down the road from where the laundrette is and take a shower quickly. So I said to the woman in the laundrette, whether I could leave, whether I could leave the clothes with him, with them and the kicks. So that if I'm back there before he gets back there, which I will be back there before he gets back there, because literally I'm just gonna go grab the stuff and circle right back, because my clothes ain't gonna take that long to dry there with industrial machines. So by the time I circle back, they can at least have the stuff to give to him, you get me? I always say to Wes here, once this channel takes off to where I need to, uh, Especially with like merch, if we push it like a proper like clothing brand, that's the aim anyway. If I push it like a proper clothing brand, how we used to push Lakey, and I'll grow it correctly. So to him, all I'm gonna do in my free time is literally stuff like this, but instead of giving them secondhand stuff, I'll literally buy them clothes, buy them kicks, you know what I mean? Figure how I could help them. Figure how I could be of use to someone. We've been brought to this world to help each other out, man. It's just a lot of people have lost the path of helping others or bringing others up. Everyone just hoards what they got. I always remember, I weren't born here, innit? I was born in Nige, so I grew up in a, a very rough area. So growing up in a rough area, I know how it feels growing up and not having everything you wanted and just being grateful for the little you had, man. You get me? And always smiling for the little you had. Because now, fast forward, like, I remember going back, like, uh, years ago and seeing where I grew up and just the area in general and how I lived. And at that time, I was satisfied with everything and I was grateful and very happy. But now, fast forward, mate, pfft, the area I grew up and the living conditions, nah. <laughs> mm -mm. You know what gives me a joke, yeah? Like, you see, like, earlier, when I seen the homeless guy and I've given him money, like, and then given him, uh, said to the woman in the laundry, I'm going to bring him clothes and uh, shoes. Everyone in the shop was just smiling. I just think to myself, because you see me coming looking rough in a hoodie and that and I usually don't smile maybe because I don't usually smile like I've got a mean mug they probably had like a perception but it was just joke how everyone just proper there just grinning and smiling I just think to myself hey, it's a normal thing that people do though you know what I mean I was going to film the brother like, he was like he wanted to have a proper chat I said to him because I've seen it when I've driven past before a couple of times so I said I'll catch up another time because my back was 
yeah, it's just been, it's just been sore. So I just wanted to just get in, get out. Order some food from my boy's shop. Oreo puff puff. Some coleslaw there. You know I love planting, so three extra portions. Got some jello fries there. Inside there, we have some bonus chicken. My boy, Guava Grill, he's been on an episode of the pod. But yeah, this is dinner tonight, man. Support your people all the time. Boy, it's late night, I ain't got no water in the house. To run to the shop quickly, where trying to ease up on drinking fruit juice. As in May, I'm going to be in Nigeria, then I'm going to be in uh, America. So I'm trying to be on point when I'm creating content out in both places. So, cutting out all the excess sugar or minimalizing it, drinking more water, get my skin clear as well, man. You know where we are, <laughs> our favorite place. You know what we came to do. Man are here grafting. The amount of man that I know that do Uber as well, yeah? Like Asian man that I talk to, do Uber, own their shops, own other businesses. Like, yeah, they put me on still. A lot of talks like, they'll be like, yeah, keep doing the Uber, keep doing this, keep doing that. Like even, the guy who owns the venue next door to mine, actually no, he sold it to the next guy, but the guy who owned it originally, same thing, boy. He'll be banging Uber during the daytime, owned the restaurant next door. I think he sold it because he never used to, uh, he never used to sell alcohol. So he never used to sell alcohol and he didn't see like the kind of margins where we would see from selling alcohol. So I told him, boy, Either that or you bring in a partner who comes from a community where they're not Muslim and they could sell alcohol, but boy, I think he didn't want to do that, so he sold it to he sold it to an Indian guy and this guy is killing it. Like he's always phoning my phone, like, oh, I've got a booking now, uh, but I can't take on this one, but do you want it? And I'm like, Rah, you're that busy, so he was even trying to, like, he, he, every other day he sees me, he keeps on saying to me, oh, could I buy a venue off you? <laughs> I'm like, you want to buy it now when the work has been done and the venue's looking good? These times, he's from the area, so he knows what it looks like before I took it, took it over. It was a dump, you know what I mean? But he, don't want, he didn't want to spend his money then. <laughs> People are too funny, you know. He was like, right, I haven't got time. I'd rather just get to the end end point but I hear it still I hear it but let me run up in the shop quickly and get some stuff Whew, this blasted shop grabbing bits uh, I think I need wines let me even check I need Moe Belair Jose Cuevo case of white wine case of rosé I can't even remember the one the wine I got last time you know what's crazy, yeah? Back before, I used to like drinking wine. I don't know what happened, but yeah, I don't even drink wine. I don't drink alcohol, but yeah, I ain't drank wine in a very, very long time. When I thought I was adulting, I tried to drink wine with a meal. <laughs> when I thought I was a big boy. Am I being cheap? Yes, I'm being cheap. Let me remove these two. People don't understand, yeah? If every time you go to the shop, yeah, you get something 20 pound cheaper, and you're doing this every single week. By the end of the year, you save like a couple grand. <laughs> I ain't rich yet, boy. So imagine people with money, the margins that they save when they're finding all the bargains. You have to work, work. smart, not hard. So I've got my wines. If you see like my Facebook from 07, I always used to have this in my hand, boy. <laughs> Two bottle chills. One for me, one for the girls. Or two bottles of LP. It's like, you know when you had your like signature? That was me, boy. Let me grab some kibasi, man. Don't know if we need it, but it's better to have it than not to have it. Dark rum, one bottle. Spice gold, one, two. 
they sell the alcohol free version of Captain Morgan. So for people like us who don't drink, we could be in a party still pretending <laughs> that we drink. Some idea, this camera is so little, but it just tracks correctly. So easy to use. The other camera, they had to hold it in my hand. It's like you would not be getting as much content if I had that camera. Any of you lot that are trying to get into vlogging and that, yeah, take the hit and just buy this one. Man. 619 create a pack or the normal pack for four something but take the hit man it's worth the time it's worth the money because now yeah i calculated yeah if i drop two vlogs every week within let's say like uh three weeks i'd have made back my camera money or within a month so i just need to just get on job like stop slacking man and you know what's mad yeah there's someone in the comments that made me realize that if I just drop two pods a week, two vlogs a week, the money could be different. Because one, traction will increase, and two, uh, if let's say every vlog starts making like 80 to 100 pound minimum, and the pods are making around the same, that's an extra 400 a week. You don't really need heavy edits in this day and age. I realise a lot of people don't like heavy edits. It's like raw. So you don't need to put fancy music and all that in your shit. Just be consistent and you're nice. I think today I'm going to have maybe a thousand pound bill. Let's see. Maybe 900. But everything will be made back. Hopefully by tomorrow. I figured if I start doing a weekly free event on Sundays, on top of my normal bookings, business will be booming. When I first day of vlogging, I used to find this shit weird. I'm like, how could I walk around talking to myself? But after a while, you get used to it. Just put your mic by your collar so you can just talk into the mic. <laughs> So no one really hears you talking. Could I get a case of Hennessy, please, darling? You want a case of Hennessy? Yes, please. You all right, Terry? Hey, you I'm good, man. <laughs> Coming to play so much, you end up knowing the manager's name, my first name, though. Back to the vlog. All right. Now I've got everything. Just need to put all the bottles in the back seat first. I always grab a box before I leave so I can put all the singular bottles. Easy to carry yourself going one by one, in and out, my car up and down steps. You just grab a box before you leave. Save yourself time, man. No, I own a event hire space. So a bar. What's this? A bar. Bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gee. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> that's jokes. Now you see, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. 120 plus VAT. That's that's a lot cheaper than here. Yeah. Because yeah. over here is like 200. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, boss. See, talk to people. They give you connects you need. So now, if I had this like a year ago, boy, probably saved a couple grand on Henny alone. Smart. That is proper mad. Flexing on your bitch. Who's that? Cleat to the yo. <laughs> Someone's having the anniversary today. Saturday night cardio. Today's day 195 in a row. My aim was 100. But I hit 100. So now we're going for 200. Cardio done. Just left the gym. Let's grab some food. It's my idea. The light is low, but this camera makes it look like it's bright outside. It's literally like, if you see how tiny this is here, it's jokes. 
But yeah, time to go home and get some food in me. So when I go wholesalers, they must think I'm like Dexter's lab. I've always got a plain black hoodie, plain jogging bottoms all the time. It's just the easiest thing to, to find, to be fair. Like, them places are always dusty. So I just wear repetitive stuff. We had an event yesterday. Didn't do too good on the bar. I think they spent like 1,250 or something like that. Uh, not great, but it is what it is. The next week, my event, I'm gonna spin the bar. I'll tell you that for free, but yeah, I'm gonna try and do this Good Friday event and turn it into like a, a weekly Sunday R&B chill kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Loads of guys, loads of women, chill, grown vibes, everyone's just having fun, you know? That's the aim. If I build it the way I want, it could be the summer spot for like six months. See how it goes. You get me? Last year I worked way too hard. This year, to work hard and smart. Hard and smart. Combine both together. You know where we are. You can't have an episode without me being at Booker's. Couple Red Bulls. Oh, jeez. Get a couple of cases. I can't stop, you know? Trust me. But I like this camera here. Yeah. As I'm moving, it's tracking me wherever I go. So you'd think I have a little cameraman with me. But it's just me. Yeah, <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Everyone's all fascinated by the camera. The next week party should be booming. 160 people have confirmed so far. I want to try and get double the confirmation of the venue. My aim is to try and get 320 minimum to 400. Because if people drop out last minute, you know, like if it rains, everyone here starts going, oh, they can't make it. What if half the people drop out? Then it should be fine. What you find here in doing this business is you get a lot of cheap people. So it's like people would have their birthdays and they'll invite their bridges. And when they invite their bridges, a lot of their friends don't like spending. Especially if you put a tab down. Once the tab's gone, they start coming to the bar and asking, oh, can I get tap water? <laughs> uh, I'm glad I don't have tight friends, you know. Those are the worst kind of people to be around. Tight people. They'd be penny, penny pinching everything. Yesterday, for instance, I know no one bought Champagne. When it was a young youths the week before, my God. I had them young youths. They came, they drank, they didn't complain. They didn't, they didn't loiter in the venue after so my staff could get out and get home. The ones yesterday, my God, they were trying to hang around for like an hour. I had to ring my staff, say put them on the phone. And I said, well, listen. Uh, you pay till two o'clock, it's three o'clock, you lot are still loitering. My staff need to clean. The longer you stay there, I was losing money by the hour. So, due to them hanging around, staff and security, that cost me an extra 75 pound. Yeah. I was like, you lot are taking a piss, man. Get out of my venue. <laughs> they weren't spending money. They weren't spending a damn thing, but yeah. So they needed to go. Uh, I'm not rich on it, so the longer you stay, <laughs> if, if, if you're spending, yeah, it's all good. But if you're not spending, I'm just there just incurring costs for no reason. Like, 
no one thinks about your pockets. They think about theirs, you feel me? Then they start saying, oh, you charge too much, it's too expensive. You need to factor all the little bills that all adds up, the water bill, the electric, rent, staffing, all this stuff, you know? They don't factor it, they just think, oh, once they pay their money, that I should be there glazing them. Unfortunately, I'm nice to a certain degree. After a while, I'll bad you up. There's a reason why I'm not loud. Like, more time I don't see people as a threat, so that's why I'm always super calm. That's why I don't really like to, to even talk too much on the pod, because <laughs> I know certain times how far I'm willing to go with certain things, so I have to kind of just humble myself and wean myself down, because I'm not, I'm not young no more, so things I can get away with before the social media, CCTV age and all of this, I can't know more, so certain times I have to check myself and say, rah, relax, you know? Like, with age, you kind of learn how to tame your aggression and things that trigger you and anger moments. You kind of just learn to just let things kind of slide, even though you don't want to, you just have to, you know? Where the hell is this red stripe? Boss. Hello, boss. You know, don't have the red stripe in the bottles, just the cans available. Yeah. There's no meter boxes in the bottle, but I just see the cans. There's none. Oof, thank you. <laughs> Oh, in the warehouse part, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll ask you there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of times you kind of have to just set yourself down. Sorry, boss. And just understand business is business, you know? You can't bring your old school mentality of, bro, oh, they can't talk to me like that. How dare they? They don't work in business. In businesses, yes, sir. Okay, boss. Thank you, sir. You get me? Because these people, one little thing, they're going to go try and leave some mad Google review. And yeah, that's long. Hey, hello? Hello? You know, cranberry, you can't grab cheap cranberry. Like, you got uh, these ones. Nah. It's got ocean spray, man. I'm gonna grab these ones still. Let's grab the good stuff. I could have got the cheap ones and saved myself about seven pound. You get me? But sometimes, spend the money, man. You get me? Sometimes spend the money. That's all you can do. No one loves bookers and Costco more than Nigerian eyes. Tell you that for free. It's a recession. Everyone's broke. Even though you might see some of the man there with some flossy, flossy bits. They all broke, baby. So they actually do have time for water. My blind self ain't me noticing it. One more bottle of Bel Air. So yeah, that should be about it. Just need my two cases of Hennessy. I should start playing a game on the vlogs. Like here we can guess close to the total amount I spend on every week. I'll just give like a free top or something. Maybe that should be the next game. Okay. Right, Terry? Must be good. Huh? <laughs> you were here yesterday, were you? Oh, mate. <laughs> Uh, you know what? It was all right. It wasn't crazy busy, but uh, I saw bits that I was just like, you know what? Let me stack up for next week because I got a busy event. Yeah, yeah. So Good Friday, I got a busy event. So I was just like, let me stack up properly from now, just to make sure. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even today, I should have grabbed red, red stripe the last time I was here. And I've come and there's only the ones in the cans, but I need the ones in the bowl. Oh, right. Yeah. So next time I'm up east, if I come here and it's not here, next time I'm up east, like near the venue, I'll go to the one in, uh, what's the one off the A13? Oh, Sunbury? No. A13? Yeah. Oh, um, not Acton, is it? No, 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 no. East London, East London, East London. No, I heard, I heard that back then, this part of Croydon just used to be just derelict. So I live in like uh, South Croydon. Oh, right. And one of my neighbours, she's lived there like over 30 years. And she said like before, next door, it was just like trees. Mm. So where my house is, it's like, yeah, it just used to be trees. Yeah, all that where the sandwich is. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing was there, nothing. Yeah, nothing. that's crazy. Nothing. It's a huge shopping today, boy. Taking my time so nothing rolls or drops off. Anything glass could easily smash due to the wind. But yeah, shopping done. Total today was 10.40. Two grand weekend of shopping. Staffing this weekend cost me Total just over 500. So, yeah, this weekend cost me 2.5. If I have four weeks in a row like that of profit, <laughs> as a Rolex, but that's not what we're going to spend our money on or. You want to, you want to be stacking boys. You want to be stacking boys this this summer. Summer of stacking. But yeah, being self-employed comes at heavy cost, man. You always constantly spending. But when you get your rewards, the rewards are good, man. It's all down to you, you know. You know, it's like how hard you're willing to work. You know. Like, I constantly run Instagram ads. I need to create a, a tick, TikTok ads. So what I'm gonna do is, after the next party, I'm gonna get a videographer. And once I get the videographer, I'm gonna run ads on that party. Yeah, after the next party, I'm gonna I'm gonna run ads on TikTok. And if I run ads on TikTok now, I could probably get a new batch of people who come to the venue. You get me? So if I get a whole new batch of people, I start partying at the venue laughing get the flyers done and just go ham every Sunday for the whole of summer you get me like now with social media promo work is a bit different than what it used to be back in the day Back in the day, you had to go out physical flyers every night, you knew where all the big dances were. Get me where the hot gal was. So yeah, you knew where all the big dances were. You kind of knew where to go flyer. Let me round up on here, let me just finish packing up. That irritate me. Pulled up to my venue now, and a man has parked his car. I'm blocking the venue. I'm gonna put up some bollards soon, and just block up the parking space. I swear. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. It's gonna be an inconvenience, 
but I'm going to put something to block up the parking space because every time I come, there's someone in my space. some bits from upstairs blocking up the fucking door I'm a real trap I'll do what I wanna I'm a real trap I'll do what I wanna finish putting everything in the venue lights off time to get out of the building back home it's Sunday I shouldn't be working to be fair but where it's best for me to start my week and early, get things out of the way so that I don't have to be rushing at the end of the week to come here and sort this out. If it's out of the way now, this week, na cruzo. Going to the week easier. Show me. Work smart, but not hard. This area is always madness. Oh, boss man shop over there. Shout out him, boy, he saves me a lot. It's always a madness out here. Surprise all the, the drunk people ain't loitering outside. They normally all pile up outside the bookies. That skip was never meant to be there. We don't know who owns it, but the owner of the bookies, the, the main boss, he's not happy about it still. And the skip now, people just dash bare cans of beer, boy. Not my business anyway, let me stay focused on my focusing. Oh, it's mad, yeah? I used to be so shook to drive on this bridge, boy. I just always used to have a, like, what's that film? The, the one where Final Destination. I always used to have Final Destination thoughts every time I used to go on this on this bridge, I used to be like, nah, this ain't, this ain't the one. <laughs> and now, I feel like I'm on this bridge all the time. It's back and forth, back and forth, between south and east, where, but I need to set up dark for charge before I forget. I've been on this bridge two times in the past couple of days, but I paid yesterday's one. I'm gonna pay today's one in the moment. I get back home where because if not you forget and when that fine comes through your door vex 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 it's not nice to tell you it's not nice black hole tunnels closed southbound so quickest way home is this way where then people that live in like Lewisham and Greenwich they're pissed getting home would take so long but I could get to Croydon faster from east than they can to their house <laughs> Just because everyone's gonna go down Rubber Hive or uh, what's the other one? London Bridge, no, Tower Bridge, and circle back in. That is so long. Let the car get the stretch with the M Way miles. A lot of people don't know that if you don't drive your car properly on these longer journeys, you don't get to clean out the filter properly. I remember like my, my former car in a Mercedes because it was a diesel it needed these trips so a lot of times I used to go this route back home it's like going the normal London way just to clean out the filter properly get me I prefer M way rides anyway there's no traffic you're just cutting your car as fast as you can where but now there's cameras on I know the M way so boys and girls stick to the speed limit you know, I'm on a 60 road now. When I hit the 70 road, 70, I'm not trying to do no hero. My old car, I've hit some speeds, whatever. But yeah, we're not doing that no more. I value my life. And I'm not in a rush nowhere, man. No matter what time I get home, I'm gonna end up doing the same thing, getting some food, sitting down and watching Netflix. I'm prepping for the, the week coming. She reminded me, I need to message the client, see what we can do early tomorrow morning because I'd rather just do back-to-back -back people early and get them out of the way than uh, the rest of the week I could be doing my own thing at that time. I swear, yeah, I hate driving down these country roads. 
because the road I usually take home is closed. Look at these people walking and they're gonna probably walk to where the darkness is, where there's no uh, where there's no pavement. I have to walk through that nightmare. South Norwood still. Let me go get some food from my bedroom shop, Guava Grill. If you're ever in South Norwood, you know the place to be. The food bangs. The jalos banging, the boneless chicken banging, the puff puff banging. Don't slip up, make sure you come here. I like the face tracking on this way. I move left, camera moves, I move right, it moves bang, bang, bang. It's like you'd think I got a cameraman. I'm about to munch this meal. Got some puff puff, I deserve it. You think I'm a cameraman with the amount of camera equipment I got? Just got all camera stuff out. Get some water in my meal. So my week. So my week could start off on point. As a man, you need to always be clean, man. Keep your stuff clean. Keep your house clean. Keep yourself clean. It's one of your disciplines, man. It's, it's good habits to have. You feel me? Let's make good habits. 